Hi everyone, it's Halo 4 Tutor with another Halo 4 gameplay commentary. Uh, the SWAT playlist was just released, so I'm here to give you some signature tips and tricks for the SWAT game type. As always, you know you're going to be able to step up your game and take it to the next level if you follow my advice. Today I have a video from a good friend of mine, his name is Stay Foku. It's his gameplay, my commentary. We were playing together on this map. I was looking for a gameplay to share with you, but he had a much better game than I did, and so I wanted to ask for his permission to share this game, and he readily agreed. He's a great friend, and he has a great game here. So let's dive right in. If you're unfamiliar with the SWAT playlist, everybody's a one-shot kill. There's no shields, no health. You get a uh, precision weapon to load out with, and uh, you know it's it's uh, very fast-paced action. You can see this game only uh, lasts about four and a half minutes. It goes very quickly because there's no shields, and you can just get a lot of multi kills, so on and so forth. So let me give you a few tips for success here. Um, you know, because it's a one-shot kill uh, right to the head, you always want to have your reticule everywhere you go trained right at the the level where your opponent's head would appear if they came around a corner if they came into view you want to have that that ready kill trained at head level that's how stay foku got taken down right there they were just sitting back there waiting for him to come into view and they took the shot as soon as they saw him he didn't even have a chance there what you'd really need to do he's using some peak shooting here which is it's a good method what i would have suggested is, is that as he comes around the corner if you jump that's a really great method so they can't if you jump as you come around a corner or as you come into a new room or into sight uh, if there's opponents there who are trained on your head they're gonna end up hitting you in the body if you jump and then you're gonna be able to counter with a quick headshot and finish them off alright so if you're waiting for opponents to come into view keep that reticule at head level but if you come into a new area or into view in general, you want to be jumping, okay? That way, they'll hit you in the body. You can counter with a headshot. Now, I typically recommend that players travel in packs and pairs so you can team shoot the other players. But in this game type, team shooting is not necessary. It, you don't need to team shoot because it's a one-shot kill. So you, what you actually are better off doing is spreading out and trying to catch your opponents uh, off guard, okay? Because there's no radar, and you just got the one-shot kill, so you can very easily take out huge groups of players all by yourself, okay? It's the one game type where I'm going to encourage you to play a lone wolf style. Here he makes a big mistake. Look, he's got the triple kill, starts to reload. He missed out on a perfect opportunity for an overkill. Don't reload until you know that the coast is absolutely clear or until you're completely out of ammunition, okay? He, he really missed out on an opportunity there. He wanted me to point out that mistake so that you guys don't make that same mistake yourselves. Um, let's see, what else was I going to point out? Oh, so, you know, as teammates, you want to spread out, and you need to be communicating with one another, okay, about where your opponents are. And we were doing that throughout this whole game, and so we were able to get around behind the opponents because one player would alert us where they are, and then we would all kind of approach from different angles on the map, and then that way... You know, without that radar, it's very difficult to cover your, your blind areas, your the areas behind you and to your sides. And so we were able to get a lot of, uh, you know, a pretty serious advantage on the opponents because we are communicating, spreading out, getting out and around and behind our opponents, okay? So that's another thing to keep in mind. Um, and just in general, you don't have those radars and it's the one-shot kills, so it's, it's as critical as ever. That you use call outs, you communicate with your teammates, because your teammates are going to be your eyes and ears for the most part. Look at this double triple and overkill. Should have been an extermination by Stay Foku here. Uh, of course, with the new reloading system, I'm not even sure that extermination is a metal anymore. But really outstanding gameplay here. Hope you guys learned a few things through my commentary and through his gameplay. Please remember to check out all the other fantastic videos I have on the channel. Uh, Halo 4 Tutor, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Add this to your favorites. I'll see you next time.